Pilau is a very popular dish here in Kenya and throughout East Africa and there are different ways of making pilau and today I'm going to be showing you a very simple well detailed recipe that you're going to love. I am going to be using a few ingredients which are very basic. I have two cups of basmati rice. I always choose basmati rice because the outcome is always amazing. Also I'll be using three quarter kg of beef, potatoes, onions, garlic and ginger together with my homemade pilau masala recipe. If you're interested in the masala recipe you can check up here or in the description box for the full recipe on how to make pilau masala. You're going to get started by boiling your meat until tender and I'm going to be using a pressure cooker to tenderize my meat. So I'm going to place in my meat which I've cut into bite-sized pieces. Also I'm going to be adding in a beef stock cube which is going to add more flavor to the pilau. So I'm going to add the stock cube in the pot as well together with a cup of water. If you don't have a pressure cooker you can simply use a sufuria or a pot to boil your meat until tender. You're going to cover your pressure cooker by securing the lid then you're going to boil for around three whistles. If you're using a pot or a sufuria boil the meat until tender. When the pressure cooker is done you're going to manually release the pressure from the cooker before opening the pot. And because I've already prepped up the rest of the ingredients that is potatoes, my onions, garlic and ginger, we are simply going to be waiting for the meat to boil for three whistles. My beef is ready and it's looking super tender. So I'm going to place that aside, place my pot of a medium high flame. And I've already added in three tablespoons of cooking oil. So to my pot, I'm going to be adding in two large diced onions. I'm going to be cooking the onions until they have a very nice golden brown color. So I'll pick my spatula and stir in the onions. Once the onions are starting to have a very nice golden brown color, just like this. I'm going to add in my crushed garlic and ginger. So I'm using around six cloves of garlic and a thumb sized ginger. So take for around 30 seconds until the garlic and ginger are very fragrant. This is the trick to making some delicious pilau. Don't skip on the garlic and ginger. When the onions, garlic and ginger are ready, I'm going to add back my meat. Adding a heaping tablespoon of my homemade pilau masala, two seasoning cubes, I'm using two beef seasoning cubes. Toss the beef together with the pilau masala and cook for around a minute on medium low flame so that the meat can absorb all the nice flavors from the pilau masala. After about a minute this is how the beef is looking like. I'm going to add in potatoes. Stir in the potatoes in the pot. And I'm going to be cooking the potatoes for around three to four minutes because I've chopped up my potatoes a little bit big. If your potatoes are medium size, you're going to be cooking for around two to three minutes so that when you add in your rice and fully cook your pilau, the potatoes also are going to be fully cooked. If you notice that your pot is drying out, you can add in a splash of water so that the potatoes can cook halfway. So at this point, this is how my basmati rice is looking like. So you're going to wash the rice for around two times until the water turns out clear. This is to get rid of the excess 
starch. I've already washed my rice, so I'm going to add in the pot. Toss the rice for around a minute over medium high flame. Then next we're going to add in four cups of water. Stir in the water and let everything come to a boil. Then you're going to check the seasoning. If it's not perfect, you're going to be adding in more salt. Remember I added in a beef stock cube and two beef seasoning cubes which contain salt. So you're just going to be checking if the rice is well seasoned. Remember the choice of rice that you use to make your pilau is going to determine how your pilau will turn out. If you use a low quality rice, the rice will turn out clumpy, but still it will be very delicious. But if you use a good quality rice, like basmati rice, you're definitely going to have the best outcome. When the water has completely dried off, you're going to reduce the flames to low, cover your pot and simmer for around five minutes until the rice is fully cooked. So I'm going to serve to show you how my beef pilau is looking. The beef pilau has turned out amazing. The potatoes are well cooked and also the rice is so aromatic and flavorful. This recipe is going to be a hit once you try out the recipe and everyone is going to enjoy it in every bite. So I hope you'll be trying out this very easy and delicious beef pilau recipe.